How to create cup of coffee in Adobe Illustrator in 5 easy steps. Hello, you're watching TNT Tutorials. This tutorial is for beginners who don't even know from what to start, see Adobe Illustrator for the first time and never draw anything. Today we will work with base shapes, shape builder 2, pen 2, we will use clipping mask and gradient. So let's get started. Let's begin with creating a new document. You can press Ctrl N or go to File New. Or you can simply launch your Adobe Illustrator and you will see this window. Go to Print, select A4, Horizontal Orientation, in Advanced Options select RGB and click on Create. I've placed this cup of coffee here so you could have a reference. You can pick all these colors in video description. Each color has its code number. To create this palette, you will have your layer number 1. I will create a new layer. Double click on your layer number 1 and rename it to Colors. Then go for Rectangle tool, hold Shift and draw a rectangle like this. Then copy code number from video description, double click here on Fill and paste it here. Do the same for other colors. But if you want to skip this step, you can simply pick similar colors to what we will create. So I will delete this layer, because I already have one. You will have your layer number one. I will create a new layer. Rename your layer to background. Now click I for eyedropper tool. Pick this color, or if you don't want to pick exactly this color, double click on this fill color icon and pick color similar to this. Then go for rectangle tool and draw a rectangle here. I need to place this background layer behind these two layers, so I simply drag it here and I will click here to lock this layer. After this, after this, let's create a new layer and rename it to cup of coffee. So let's start with step number one. Let's create a cup. Press I for eyedropper tool. Eyedropper tool is over here. Pick this color. Now go for ellipse tool. Hold your left mouse button on this icon and select Ellipse tool or simply press L. Now hold Shift and draw ellipse like this. Now press V for selection tool and deselect this layer by clicking somewhere on the workspace. Now let's create a handle. To do this, go for Line Segment tool. Illustrator will help you to draw it like this in the middle point of your ellipse. So draw a line holding shift to make sure that you're drawing a straight line because without shift you can go out of axis and release your left mouse button. Now press I for eyedropper tool, pick this color and click here, swap fill and stroke. Now go to properties panel and let's change width of this stroke Click here a few times, click on Stroke, Round Cap, click on Stroke again to exit this menu. Now press A for Direct Selection tool. We use Direct Selection tool to move and select points. Pick this point and make your handle shorter if you need to. I've decided to change width a little bit. I'll stop on something like this. Now press V for selection tool, click somewhere on the workspace to deselect this object. And now it's time for step number two. Let's create coffee base shape and this little shadow here. Select this object, press Ctrl C, Ctrl F. We've created a copy of this ellipse. Now press I for eyedropper tool and pick this color. 
If you didn't create this palette, double click here and pick a color similar to this. Then press V for selection tool, hold Shift plus Alt and make it smaller like this. Then hold Alt, start to move this object to the right and hold Shift also. You must have Shift plus Alt combination. And then release it. As you can see we've created a copy, so let's change color to this. Click I for eyedropper tool and pick this color. I will show you this color here, if you want to pick it in this panel. Now press V for selection tool. Select these two layers. Press Shift plus M for Shape Builder tool. Shape Builder tool is over here. And then you must have these two objects selected. Hold Alt and click here. Now press V for selection tool to deselect these objects. And let's start with step number three. Let's create a form. To do this, we will need Pen tool. But first of all, but first of all, let's pick this color. Press I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, or double click here and pick color similar to this. Then go for Pen tool, or press P to quickly pick it, and now draw something like this. Just drag a line like this, then go here, and if you've placed some point wrong, just press Ctrl Z to undo, or press Ctrl Z to undo a couple of times, and then simply continue. You'll be also able to change point position any time after you created this shape. So simply create something like this. To finish this shape, click here, here and lock this shape. I see that I have to fix a few moments here. So press A for direct selection tool. Pick point that you want to edit and play with them like this. To delete some points, if you need to, you can press P for Pen tool and simply click on point that you want to delete. Then press A for Direct Selection tool and continue to edit your points. So I will stop on something like this, press V for selection tool, deselect this object, and now let's draw some circles like this. Press I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, press L for ellipse tool, I will zoom in so you could see better, press L for ellipse tool, and holding shift, draw ellipses like this. You will be able to change their position or size anytime. Now press V for selection tool. And before you start to edit these circles, it's time for step number 4. We will create clipping mask and after this we will edit foam and these circles if you need to. To create clipping mask, select this layer this dark layer, press Ctrl C, Ctrl Shift V. When we press Ctrl Shift V, we are placing our copied object to the top of other layers. And now select all these layers and let's remove this handle and this cup from selection. Hold Shift and click on this object. To add some objects to selection, Hold Shift and click on them again. But we don't need this cup in selection, we delete it from selection. And now right click on this selected object and click here Make Clipping Mask. Double click on this clipping mask. If you want to edit these curves, press A for Direct Selection tool. You can see that this point appears now. 
and you can edit them again. After you finished with these curves, press V for selection tool, click somewhere to deselect this object, and start to edit your circles here. When you'll be happy with the result that you have, double click some on the workspace to exit clip and mask mode. And it's time for last step, step number five. We will create this dark shadow here. It's also very easy to do. Pick your direct selection tool, press A. Click on this dark layer again. Now press Ctrl C, Ctrl Shift V again. In fill color icon, double click here, pick some dark color, then double click on gradient tool and select this radial type. After this, in this line, drag this white marker to the right, like this. You can move this little marker between dark and white marker to soften this edge, like this. Then go to Properties panel, click on Opacity, and in Blending modes, select Multiply. After this, change Opacity to something like 35%. Then close this window, press V for selection tool, I will zoom out. So our cup of coffee is done, try to create it by yourself, leave this image as reference. And if something wasn't clear for you in this tutorial, or if you will have any difficulties with creating this cup of coffee, ask me in comments. And you can also write in comments if you want to see how to create exact object or character on this channel. See you in next videos.